Just the way he came out of the Peter Pan, um, I think he trained, uh, you know, I really didn't train on, have the Peter Pan on the radar um, after his Keeneland maiden win and the way it came up that day, I thought that it's not a big field, a uh, mile and eighth, he was the only horse in there who'd been a mile and eighth before and I thought it'd be a good test uh, in depth of uh, just sort of quality that he was up against and I thought he ran very creditable that day. I thought uh, Chad's horse, we'll, we'll go on to hear a lot more about him. I think he's a very nice horse in the making, the horse that beat him. And uh, the fact that I hadn't really worked him since his maiden win and the way he ran that day and then the way he came out of the Peter Pan and I've always thought the Peter Pan was a good stepping stone to the Belmont anyway if you hadn't run in any legs of the Triple Crown and uh, he's really trained, uh, you know, in between his works, his gallops have been very energetic and his works have been... You know, I, I thought the sort of works you want to see going into a mile and a half race. So, um, uh, you know, and the fact that there wasn't a lot of speed in the race. And he, he might be a horse that might be able to shake loose on the front end and dictate the terms. And uh, with the uh, we got lucky and we were able to get Mike Smith. So, you know, that's, that doesn't hurt us either.